Hi, welcome to May's Fitness and Fuel Workout, and welcome to our new Pilates studio at Nutriformance. We just recently expanded our studio, have new equipment, and it's the perfect time to bring you a Pilates-based workout because this month's nutrition is all about belly boosters. So the workout today can be done as a circuit on its own. It's good active recovery. You can do it after a cardio routine, or you may just choose to take some of those individual exercises and put them into your personal, personal workout as you see fit. Remember, with Pilates, take your time, focus on breathing. You're not going to feel everything right away. It's a little bit more complicated. There's that mind-body connection. So we want you to watch the demos, listen to the cues, and then you can see in the written workout all the repetitions for the various movements. So today we have some of our Pilates instructors joining us. This is Emily Freeman and Karen Kroger with us now. And you'll see Eli and Jill later in the video. And today's workout is we're showing you how to take reformer exercises and take them off the reformer using only a towel on the hard floor. If you're on a carpet, you can also use a plate, something that'll glide on that carpet. So this is all about engaging those abdominal muscles and focusing on, on deep um, control. So we're going to start with a warm-up here. Usually we tell you to go to our dynamic warm-up. Today we're going to take you through a little Pilates warm-up. So we're going to start just with a pelvic tilt. So the girls are going to show you all you're doing is drawing the abdominals in, lifting the tailbone up, keeping the shoulder relaxed, good, and then all the way back to neutral. So a couple of repetitions of that pelvic tilt, good. And then you're going to come to neutral position. Neutral position is where you have that natural curve in your spine. Hands are going to come behind the head, and they're going to show you what we call a rib cage curl. So you want to keep space between your chin and your chest, and you're going to exhale and lift up. Good. Curling right at the rib cage and down. So we warmed up the pelvic floor with the pelvic tilts. We're warming up the um, upper part of the abdominal wall with our rib cage curls. Good. And then we're going to go into some footwork. So on the reformer, this is a spring-based piece of equipment. Emily's going to hold her rib cage curl here. Karen's going to keep her head down, and we're going to be in a Pilates V to start. Good. So they extend the legs out. Good. And on the floor here, you're focusing on full extension of the legs, and as you exhale, you pull all the way in. And you're going to feel your torso staying nice and long. You want to reach the tailbone down towards the mat. Excellent. And then we're going to change our foot position to a parallel position. And then they're going to press the legs out. Emily's going to do a point and a flex here. And Karen's got a lower and a lift. Good. And that'll be your next movement for that footwork there. Great. And then they're going to come into hundreds. This is the Pilates warm-up that everybody knows and loves. So on the mat, we don't use any equipment. On the reformer, we use the handles here. So you're going to take an inhale to get ready. On the exhale, you're going to lift the upper body. Good. And you can extend the legs out to full extension. You're drawing the abdominals in and the shoulders back. If you need a modification, you can bend your knees here, and that's going to help you keep a more, more stability in your spine. So we do 10 breaths here. So think five pumps to an inhale, five pumps to an exhale, 10 times, and there you have your hundreds. All right, thanks, girl. Okay, so we're going to show you part of our playing series here. These are some of the long stretches. So we're first going to do these on the knees. And what, you're, what Emily's going to do here is she's going to extend her legs out. Karen's actually going to do the same thing. So extend the legs out to plank, pushing the towel out, pushing the carriage out, and then coming back, using your abdominals, keeping those hips lifted as you come back down. Good. And out. Now, if you need a modification, you can bring your knees to the floor each time. Otherwise, you can keep them hovered. Excellent. All right. For the next one, you're going to go into full plank here. Good. And then you're just going to move the carriage with the toes. Good. So keep the shoulders right over the wrists. And then just the toes move the carriage. Excellent. All right. And then the last one is going to be our full long stretch, where we extend the arms out, taking the legs back behind you. Good. And then pulling yourself forward. So this is really uses a lot of lat strength. You want to keep the abdominals up and in. Good. And rest. Thanks. Next we have what's called stomach massage, which is a very deceiving name because it feels nothing like a stomach massage at all. It's uh, actually seated footwork. 
So we're going to go into spinal flexion, going into a C curve with our spine, making sure that our shoulders aren't rounding. And then you're going to inhale to extend the legs. Good. So the inhale has done the extension. Good. Exhale, draw the knees in. Perfect. So you're using your lower abdominals, your pelvic floor, to really draw those knees in. Perfect. Then we're going to go to a lifted position here, keeping that spinal flexion. Again, exhaling as you pull the knees in. And this time you're going to extend out, and we go to a point and flex on the feet. So you'll extend out, point the toes, flex the toes, and then pull in. Good. And then our next variation here is, start with the bent knees, girls, good. And then you're going to inhale, extend the legs out as you come into spinal extension. Good. And then exhale into your round back. Nice. All right, thanks. All right, so next we're going to do a side series. This is called the Mermaid. And the girls are starting on their forearms here. Your hips are on the mat. And as you inhale, you're going to extend that arm out. You look up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you bring it in. You can use that other hand for support on the floor if you need to. Good. And coming in. Now they're going to come up onto their hand. Emily's going to lift the foot bar here. The hand's going to be slightly in front of your shoulder. You don't want it too far back. And then you'll inhale again to extend out and in. Nice. Looking up. Good. As if you're kind of laying that body down and coming back up. Nice. And then the next variation we're going to take you to add the hip lift to it. So you'll inhale to take the arm out, lift the hips. Good. Excellent. That's right. Emily knew what we were doing. We're lifting the hips when we come in. <laughs> Good. Bring it back in. Make sure that shoulder is stable. Then the hips lift up. Excellent. Thanks, girls. All right. So now we have a side split series. So we're going to have the right foot planted. We're going to show you the right foot. Obviously, you're going to do it on both sides. Right foot is planted, and you're going to take that left leg out. Good. Sit the hips back. Keep the chest lifted, and then come up and in. Use those abdominals. Use those inner thighs to pull up and in. Perfect. We're going to add some rotation to it now. So hands come together, and the girls are going to rotate as they extend that leg out. Perfect. And again, this makes it a little bit more challenging both on the legs, and then you get a little bit of oblique work. And then we're going to go out into that lunge. They're going to hold it here, keep the belly tight, and then they're going to pull that leg in. Good. These are called skaters. These are a favorite of a lot of people. Works the glutes, the inner thighs, and obviously the core. All right. Okay, the next exercise we're going to show you is called knee stretch on the reformer. And on the floor, you're going to have your feet on the towel behind you, your hands on your mat. And there's three different positions here as well. So we're going to go into flexion, round back position here. The girls are going to lift their knees off. And they're going to go into the motion to inhale on the way out, exhale to pull in. So on the reformer, we don't go, we don't extend our legs all the way. On the floor, you can go ahead and extend all the way to plank. Good. Go ahead and rest, girls. And then we're going to go into a flat back position. So still keeping the hips back over the knees, back gets nice and flat, and then we lift the knees again. Good. And we do the same movement here, except now your spine is neutral. Good. And then rest. And then the final one is a single leg knee stretch. So one leg is going to come out behind you. Good. And we're going to lift onto that single knee. Good. And then they alternate. So one knee comes in, the leg extends. Excellent. And rest. OK. OK, now we're going to show you our bridge series here. So you're going to start either with your Feet on the towel at the edge of your mat. Um, on the reformer, this is what it looks like here. We start in a wide V position, slight turnout. And the girls are first going to come into a bridge. So they're going to roll up one vertebra at a time all the way into a bridge. You have to use those hamstrings to kind of hug the towel and hug the carriage in. And then they're going to roll all the way down. Good. And then they're going to do that again. And then this time when they come down, they're going to be hovering just above the mat. Good. So you come down, rib cage is in, abdominals are, are contracted. You're going to extend the legs out on the towel. Jill's pushing the carriage back. Good. And then pull in. Excellent. And you'll continue with your repetitions there. Then they're going to come down, switch to the next position, 
which is in parallel, hip width apart. Good, they'll, do, they'll lift into the bridge again. So lift all the way into your bridge. And then they're gonna come down and hover. Good, and then they'll go to their extension here. Perfect. And then you guys can rest. And then the last one we're doing is a single leg. So let's go ahead and come into the bridge first. So come into your bridge. Good, then you'll extend one leg up. You'll do your lift and lowers from there, but I'm just gonna have them show you the extension. So you'll extend out, good, and then pull in. Perfect, and that is really tough on the hamstrings. Thanks. Okay, so now we're gonna show you our pike series. And Eli's gonna demonstrate forearm pike on the reformer, and then we have Emily here on the mat. So feet go on the towel, forearms on the mat. Good, and then you're using your abdominals to lift your hips high and pull yourself up into that pike position. Excellent, and all the repetitions for all these exercises are, on our, are in our blog in the written workout. Good, all right, rest girls, and then we're gonna go onto our hands, go into a high plank, and then the exercise is the same, except now you have to think about pulling your shoulder blades back, keeping a nice long neck, allow your head to move with the rest of your spine. Good. Excellent. And then the last one is one of my favorites. I know it's one of Eli's favorites too. So it's called snake. And basically it's a pipe with a little bit of a twist. So when you're on the mat here, you're gonna stagger your hands. So she's on her left foot, her left hand is forward, and then she crosses her right foot over. And then same thing here, you're lifting those hips high. And it's called snake. As you go down, think about reaching your chest out and through, keeping those hips lifted. Good, and then obviously you'll repeat on the other side. Thanks. Okay, so now we're gonna show you a little extension. This is called swan. And we're gonna start with what we call a baby swan. It's focusing on retracting the shoulder blades. So the girls with straight arms here are just going to lift the chest. You're drawing the abdominals in, opening the chest. Good, you'll do a couple of those to get warm. And then we're gonna show them full swan. So now, starting with the shoulder blades pulling back, you'll inhale as you lift up, up, up. Everybody's got a different range of motion here. And then, Exhaling as you go out long, good. And then we're going to go into our final variation, which is drawing your elbows in first. So you're gonna pull those arms back on the floor, but now extend into the swan, excellent. And coming back down and extending out. Similar to a functional push-up, but much more fluid. Now the girls are gonna go through a tennis stretch, which is going to work the triceps, as well as the abdominals. They're going to go up into their extension, as well as move the hips through, making sure the shoulders stay back, abdominals pull tight. They're gonna rest between, make sure to reset their shoulders, and now going into their control push-up, keeping that chest nice and open, abdominals tight, and then holding through there. Excellent. And our last is our control push-up with our leg extension. Obviously going to do both legs, but making sure you are floating through that ankle movement, point and flex, as well as your breathing. And relax. Great job. Now the girls are gonna go through a lunge series. On the floor, with the towel underneath the foot, as well as in the former, it's their split series. Coming through. Now we're going to hold through, and then move that foot back and forth, getting that nice stretch through the hamstrings as well as the hips. And moving through there. And then that last variation is just keeping the hands down on the floor, or in reformer, you would go to lift it. Balance, all abdominal control there. For May, we are focusing on our belly boosters. Obviously, we incorporated our Pilates workout, and as well, we wanted to show off our new expansion of our space. So make sure you get your session scheduled while you can. On our nutrition side of our belly boosters, of course, there's many things I can focus on when it's coming to a bloating effect, hydration shifts, prebiotics, probiotics. The two things I wanted to point out that I deal with a lot of my clients first is one, Something that's not very well known, um, it's getting, growing a little bit more popularity, is the fact that immunity is held a lot in our gut. So making sure that you are having a balanced diet is going to make sure that that good bacteria versus the unhealthy bacteria or bad bacteria in our system is in a good balance. 
Um, making sure that obviously we are going into summertime, everybody's getting back outside again. We also have a little bit of worry from people with the bloating pieces. So the focus on that is really from your hydration shifts. If you are consuming more sodium than normal, more alcohol than normal, more carbohydrate than normal, less protein or less water intake than you usually are, the body is going to have a tendency to want to hold on to water. For an example, you go out for um, popcorn at the movie theater. A much more salt than you would usually take in. The next morning you wake up, your rings are tight, there might be a little bit of swelling underneath the eyes. Everybody's instinct is that they need to start restricting. Well, that is the exact wrong thing to do. Skipping meals is another thing that's going to cause further hydration shifts, which can lead into more bloating. You actually want to get right back onto a normal eating plan as well as increase your hydration. I know it sounds backwards to put more water in when you're already feeling like you're having bloating, but that's exactly what you want to do. You want to flush through that system. No detoxes, no cleanses, just get right back into a good, healthy routine. Thank you. So we hope you enjoy this month's uh, Pilates-inspired workout, taking the reformer exercises to the mat. And if you have any questions or you want to know more about private Pilates at Nutriformance, contact us here at Nutriformance through our website. We want to thank uh, Kate and Dimbaloo for outfitting all of our Pilates instructors as well as our instructors for coming and demoing and showing off their expertise as well. Make sure if you're looking for more nutrition information or any of our other workouts, please go to our blog at Nutriformance.com. Find us on Twitter as well as Facebook at Fitness and Fuel. Thanks and look forward to seeing you again in June.